Hello, and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And the question I'm going to look at today is, do you need a data strategy and a data governance strategy? Now, I've been doing data governance for over 20 years now, and I'll be really honest, um, in the first uh, probably 15 years, nobody even talked about a data strategy or a data governance strategy. So let's just be really clear straight up that, a, you know, you always need some kind of plan or approach. Now, I probably pre the last few years called this my data governance roadmap. And this was all about doing some groundwork to understand what the corporate strategy was of the organization I was helping and understanding how data governance was going to help them achieve that. And then my roadmap, my high level plan would explain what we needed to do and how and when to do that. Now, over the last few years, there's been an awful lot more focus on data as an asset and, and it being something valuable than there ever has been. And this now means that, um, you know, so many people are talking about data strategies. Now, I think these are wonderful things and I absolutely would encourage you to do them. However, as a data governance lead for an organization, I don't think that you're responsible for creating this. A data strategy in itself is far, far wider than just data governance. This is going to be looking at all the things that your organization wants or needs to do to help it achieve its corporate strategy and objectives by managing its data better. Now, data governance should clearly be a part of this, and I'd be very disappointed if it wasn't. But it's also going to look at things like data quality, master data management, data architecture, systems and technology integration, as well as data literacy, data culture. So basically, a data strategy is all things data. Now, I think these are really valuable and I think you need to find out in your organization who is creating one and work with them to make sure that your approach to data governance is absolutely aligned to what they're putting in there um, and that that is aligned to the corporate strategy because it always comes down to what are we delivering in terms of value for the business. We don't do data governance for best practice or for the fun of it. We're doing it to help our organization succeed and meet its objectives. So that's a data strategy. And as I've already said, I've spent many, many years never creating a data governance strategy. In effect, I probably did. I just didn't call it that. Now, with the advent of data strategies, I still wouldn't really want you to be calling what you do as an approach and a plan, a data governance strategy. I think if we have too many strategies, it's overkill. People get confused. And as you know, I'm an advocate of taking a very simple approach and making it manageable. So if you have a data strategy in place, then I don't think you need a data governance strategy. You've already got that detailed in there in your data strategy, and you can take the data governance elements out to make them into your plan, your approach, your roadmap um, to be able to share with people when you're talking specifically about data governance. If you don't have a data strategy, it's up to you whether you create a data governance strategy. But remember, you must do what I said right at the start of this is go back to um, your corporate strategy and make sure that you're delivering data governance in a way that helps you achieve that. So you can call that a data governance strategy if you wish. I rarely do so and I rarely recommend that my clients do because of my whole thing about making this simple and not confusing. So everybody will expect you to have a plan, a high level plan, an approach for what you're doing. If you think it will help you, then call it a data governance strategy. If you think that will just muddy the waters, make people think it's death by PowerPoint or yet more documents they need to read, call it what it is, a high level plan. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing and uh, liking this on your choice of social media. And don't forget, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer on a future video, just email it in to questions at nicolaraskam.com.